Welcome to StrikeClyde. My name is Emilio Cortez and I work with Dr. Paul Hoskison at the Institute of Pharmaceutical and Biomedical Sciences and with Dr. Glenn Borley in the Department of Pure and Applied Chemistry and the University of StrikeClyde. There is an urgent need for us to develop new antibiotics that's due to the rise in antibiotic resistance in human pathogens. This has been identified as one of the biggest threats to global human health. This is a huge problem that is on the increase and requires researchers around the world to focus on the discovery of antimicrobials. Our project goes further. It is not only about producing new antibiotics, but about learning how to engineer the biochemical machinery in streptomyces to make new antibiotics. These amazing bacteria possess very interesting enzymes such polyketide synthesis and non-ribosomal peptidase synthesis that biosynthesis the antibiotics. This family of enzymes are like modular factories that decode chemical reactions for making antibiotics. To make these new compounds, we are using synthetic biology approaches to redesign these antibiotic factories using a range of these streptomyces bacteria, mixing and matching genes from different species to make new antibiotics. To make the mutants, we make a conjugation plate. Then, we string it out in a selective media. After incubation at 30 degrees, you can see the production of an antibiotic substance and the morphology of the colonies of the wild type, the morphology of the colonies of one strain containing one non-ribosomal peptidase synthase, and the morphology of a strain containing four non-ribosomal peptidase synthases. The strains were fermented and sample at different time points. Every sample was extracted and concentrated in a rotary evaporator. The bioactivity was tested using a spectrophotometer. The antimicrobial samples were purified by HPLC to screen for the bioactive molecule and their structures were solved using a range of techniques such as mass spectrometry, infrared and nuclear magnetic resonance. An existing antibiotic increased its yield in more than 600% in one of their strains. More interestingly, we have produced a novel compound that shows very good antibiotic activity. If you have any questions or suggestions, please email me. I hope you liked my video. Thank you for watching.